All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to episode two of my Dark Elf Adventures. So, based on the feedback from the first video, I got it seemed like you guys all really enjoyed the video. So, I guess we'll be continuing on with it. So, we are going to be continuing. Um, yeah. So, last time we left off at level seven, I decided to do a little bit of off-camera, like uh, grinding and doing dungeons with friends. So, I do plan on having some of those a little bit later. But right now, this character is at level 15, and yeah, so what are we going to do? There's really nothing that I have planned, but uh, I just hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Also, before we get started, I want to say that if you want to watch me live stream on Twitch TV, check out the link in the description. Feel free to follow me, and yeah, then that's where we can get everything going. And you can watch me live, ask me questions, do whatever. It's always cool. So, yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so first login of the day is always a while. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any other potions that aren't, like, magic or anything else, unfortunately. Do I want... This is level 7, this is 14. Endurance ring. We really just want willpower rings. I can't believe I got an agility ring and robust... But it's blue, and it's level 13. <laughs> if this was purple at 160, that would have been so much gold. But it's all good. Um, yeah, so let's first of all, let's peer offline so people don't spam me from the guild and whatnot. What are we going to do today? I have no idea. I guess we'll do some more main story quest. Hall of, Halls of Torment. Interesting. Uh, Essentially, what this series is, is like... This is what it's like to be a new player, in a way. And I'm seeing what it's like for everyone who bought the game again recently. And you're starting past one Tamriel. Instead of back in 2014 where it was actually a struggle. And things didn't scale. I could do whatever I want. So that's interesting. Alright, so... I'm still using level 8 gear. I probably should. Well, this is... Uh, my back bar is just stuff I found. In case I actually need the damage. Um, this bar is... <laughs> it's just for training and leveling up. By no means should this be like top DPS for my level. I'm just trying to get to 50 as soon as possible. Then I have all the gear I need. Or I could just craft it, essentially. Uh, the loading screens. Oh god. Put a cork in it, Tharn. Size my friend. Probably the best friend I have. If the vestige is going, I'm going too. Yes, I see. And you are the most qualified. Why? Is it your superior knowledge of Cold Harbor? Your expertise in dealing with Daedric entities? Or is it simply the unrequited puppy love you feel for that shirtless mammoth? All right, got my second bar set up. We got to 15, so we got our second bar. Um, all our points are in here. We got two stars. Oh, yeah. You know, believe it or not, I didn't know this, but it's actually possible to get zero stars. It's like, whew. okay, then. It doesn't really matter who you pick, to be honest. Both of them do very similar damage in terms of being a companion. Okay. I should probably make some better weapons that are non trashed here. <laughs> But for the most part, I'm pretty much going to be using level 6 gear all the way to 50. Just to prove you can do it. I've done it before. Where is the amulet of kings? Ah! 
By the way, just uh, for all of you curious, I will show you my champion point loadout right after this. Um, now, I know not everyone has champion points yet, but I'll just show you how I built mine. As you may imagine, the blue tree for magic DPS is the most important. Um, but let's go over this. Reduces the cost of magic of spells by 16%. Max it out immediately. Top priority, always. And then after this, you can put Arcanist. Just 75 to get um, the Master Gatherer. That is all good. And then I put 12 into here just to evade a little bit. As for the red tree, nothing in here. Um, how you spread this one now is depending on your play style. So essentially, if you notice you die more to like physical attacks, you might want to put more in hardy. Or if you die more to, or you just take more damage from elements, then max this one out. Or the best possible outcome for an average player is just to even it out. But in my case, I know that I take more damage from elemental damage in general and dots so i kind of split this up uh how i thought it would be best for my playstyle but for overall use just uh, in general just to even it out so like let's say you have 100 points just put 50 and 50 and that you should be fine and then 15 in here just to increase the healing received uh this is more for like group events and trials but i mean it does help yourself a little bit as to the blue tree this is the most important one Let's start off with this one. Elemental Expert. Uh, my build is mostly going to be fire and endgame. So flame damage, obviously you want that maxed out. Elfborn. I do plan on having some sort of critical build as well, like using the Thief Stone. And so I have 10% in here. As a spell erosion, I'm kind of testing this part a little bit just to see how, how well the spell penetration does. But if I were to remove it, I'd just put in Elfborn. And then as for everything else, um, more effectiveness of your dots is at 53. What some people don't actually know is puncturing sweeps or biting jabs does count as a dot. And so do a lot of other ones. Like, I think backlash actually counts as a dot. Either that or that's... I'm not sure about backlash, but I know biting jabs and puncturing sweeps is a dot, guaranteed. Still alive? I can't see. This game punishes you for playing in third person. That's Tharn's voice. What is he doing here? Where is the amulet of kings? Tell me, or I'll gut you like a fish with your own sword. You see how simple it is to be a sword singer somewhere. Do not stand in that. Oh, he negated. That's bad. He negated. This quest was a dumb one. I, I hated it so much. Just because it was actually hard two years ago. Nowadays, you can most likely just breeze through it. Because they made this game easier for beginner players. We appear to have some unwanted visitors in the hall of Let's make them feel welcome, shall we? Your friend always has the opportunity to free himself. All you need to do is reveal the location of the amulet of and you can all be on your merry way. Listen, lady, I killed like four of them before you even did half damage to one of them. You are the most useless individual. I should probably just kill these for the XP. Um, 
let's see. This quest is dumb. You know they should make these dungeons bigger so like if people who play in third person this doesn't happen. I love looking at in the middle of a tree like that. It's like you have to play in first person. No game. Just make the entire area bigger so this doesn't happen. World of Warcraft does it. Every other MMO does it. I'm just complaining now, but still, it annoys me. After this, I think a boss comes out, if I remember correctly. Am I getting stunned by? Harvester. So, this is how easy it gets for newer players. Interesting. Granted, I do have champion points, where some people don't, but my god, this should not be this easy for a story mission. Such tenacity, such ambition, such bravery. Such a pity we're going to skin you alive and feast on your intestines. That's so broken in PvP, by the way. Just to let you know, this is how it goes. Like, one, two, three, and charge in. This is why we have points into the roll dodging cost. All right, let's get out of here. You have done it, message. Bring him through the portal quickly.
Let's see, gotta make sure I have... I am on the XP bar. Ho! Oh, that thing is terrible. Ah, this is a poison since we don't have any chance actually. I might as well use it, right? Alright, we got a skill point. Um. I do want a destruction staff on here. Destructive touch just to level everything up. Armor, do we need anything at 22? I guess we'll get this. Everything else is maxed. Alright, so we'll save some points for now. We are not even close to, we're like 65%. I just have to do some more dungeons. I turned off the notifications for that. Alright, so we just have to teleport to someone. And then we should get to the next one. My god, the story missions are so easy. Everyone who just joined in the game recently, you should just be blowing through the quest. Ah, there you are. Come. We must talk. Alright, back to the harborage. You know when you travel to the harborage, I wish you would put you like inside, but apparently not. The more I level, the lower my HP gets, just because of the scaling and how it works. By endgame, I should have like 17,000 health and like... Um, I, assuming I have better gear, about 40,000 magic, and then as for stamina, probably less than 10,000. I'll open a portal to hasten your journey. Oh yeah, I remember this quest. It actually was difficult back in the day. Let's see how it is now. So you have to fight like one of those dragon bosses and then you have to fight like three mini bosses that do a lot of damage. I don't know how it'll go, but we're about to find out now. All right, let's go. It is strange to return to these mountains. Memories of youth flood my mind, each one bringing its own sorrow or its own smile. 
Oh, joy. We've been here less than what five minutes, and Sahan is the already getting maudlin and weak. Quickly, we must find Kasura. So much destruction. What could have done this? I'm afraid I've seen this before. Keep an eye skyward, Titanborn. All is not well. Kasura! Yes. Sai Zahan. Kasura, are you injured? Cultist. What happened? This Unskippable so dialogue. So many of my students have fallen. The Abbey is in ruins, Kasura. How, how could they? Gigantic beast. Like nothing I've ever seen. Cultist. You know I actually do need oh, this, even though it's Vivian. trash. Save your strength, Kasura. We will make them pay. I promise you. What do you think? Trap? It's only a trap if you don't know about it. I assume everything is a trap, therefore, it's a challenge. In the name of Moloch Baal, come forth and destroy his enemies! Light armor increase to 22 height. Give me the thingy. Give me Daedric minions and obey. Oh, wow. It's got it. Hosts of Oblivion, come forth and feast. Advance. Nailed it, first try. Defeat the Titan. Sahan and company at last. My pet has been waiting for you. Okay, then. Follow me. This valley was so beautiful. Why would a crypt need a secret entrance? It's a wonder there's an unplundered crypt in all of Skyrim. You Nords could learn a thing or two from the builders of Hammerfell. Perhaps Hammerfell could also teach Nibane the virtue of good manners. Now is where the actual difficult part might begin. And are. Dude, this quest is like sometimes it's broken. I actually either have to wait for the NPC or like go all the way back and then just randomly appears. The liberation of Tamriel from the tyranny of the god of schemes, Molag Baal. She's not there. I have to like go all the way back. My father's tomb. Please fix it. Reloading UI, maybe. 
I really hope I don't have to re-log to do this. Oh, I see the NPC! The ring is yours. I knew you would lead me to the ring eventually. Give it to me. Your presence defiles this place, Mr. Marco. Give me the ring, and I might spare your pathetic lives. We struck down your Titan, and we'll strike you down soon enough. Defy you. Your delusions of godhood are laughable, you ignominious corpse herder. Very well, then. I'll simply take the ring from your corpse. Blasphemy! How dare you raise the honored dead to fight your battle! I think that uh, burning light. My one ability is a dot. Or you could just, you know, miss that ultimate like that. I don't even understand. something from the most powerful necromancer in all of Tamriel. You might reconsider hiding in a book. No potions. I need magic potions more than anything. I don't need health that much. Hold the line. They must not get the ring. You know, if you die on one of them, I think you have to fight all three of them over again. Why are you aggroing me? How do you have that kind of radius? Wall of Elements is actually not that bad of a skill. I'm going to be using that late game. It looks so cool. The fire one definitely looks better in my opinion. The lightning one is kind of weird. The damage is great. But if you had not arrived when you did... Alright, I hope this hits uh, level 16 after this quest. And we'll be good to go. Alrighty. What did we just get? Uh, of course we get that. Why? Are we at least... Oh my god. We are literally 20 points off and... All right, let's just go <clears throat> kill something before we wrap up this episode. Yep. 
Okay, so let's see. What do we kill? I think the next thing we see is just going to give us 20 XP. Actually, 20 off. Never mind, that gave us five. <laughs> Why are there so much jute around? Oh yeah, it's because I'm like level one and all this stuff. So it just gives me trash tier items. Okay then, you just have to discover it. What's next? 20? Yeah, 20. Alright, sweet. So next time we might be doing some dungeons or something with this character. So I will see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.